Oh, selfish leaders. <laughs> it's Marielle. Uh, today I'm talking about uh, how to know if you have the right offer going into fall and winter 2019. Um, I'm actually going live here in the Selfish Society. So if you're catching this on the replay on YouTube, head on over to the Selfish Society because every Wednesday I go live and I do a different topic. So today I'm talking about uh, how to know whether you have the right offer or not. And this is a game changing topic because I struggled with it for a really long time. So, you know, if you have the wrong offer um, and you do it for a really long time and you have that wrong offer for, the wrong, for a really long time, you are leaving a lot of money on the table. It's just the way it is. Um, it's it sucks, and and I have to say that it is not the easiest thing to figure out. But I want to I want you to recognize whether you have the right offer or the wrong offer. Okay, so um, how many people in here struggle with knowing whether you have the right the, the wrong offer or not? I know I did for a really long time. So I remember. Um, in my past business, in our past business with my best friend, for a really long time, we would ask ourselves that question all the time. Like, you know, I wonder if um, if we should change this around. Should we change the pricing? Is it too low? Is it too high? Um, you know, and it was always, I remember you used to always say, gosh, if somebody could just come and tell us, you have the right offer or you have the wrong offer. It's really hard to get it right unless you get really intentional about figuring out your offer, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna say is that here's some signs that you have the wrong offer. If you're customizing everything, so if you're a transformational leader and or you provide a service and you feel like you're always customizing um, what you're doing, then chances are you have the wrong offer, okay? Because the right offer would actually maximize your time. So although, you know, we get we can get really geeky about the things that we do for our clients and the transformation we can create, um, there comes a time in your business that, um, that you get tired of customizing everything because you feel like, like you are uh, repeating yourself over and over. You're doing the same things over and over. And so at, at one point or another, after you've been in business for a little while, you're like, wait a minute, there's got to be a better way to, than, than doing this, uh, customizing it every single time. Okay, so that's one. The next thing is, um, are you charging by the hour? Okay, so if, you do, if you're somebody who is used to charging by the hour, um, because it's a tr it's the tradition in your business, it's it's the industry standard. Then chances are you're not maximizing your offer. Okay, every single business, whether it's actually a product or a service, has the potential of creating high end a high end offer. Okay, every business does. So if you're charging by the hour, then you're you're most likely. Um, you have the wrong offer. Um, the next thing that you need to know is if you feel like you're ready to scale, meaning you're ready to bring in more money, you're ready to bring in more clients, but honestly you get scared because you really, you're afraid that if you bring on any more clients, you're not gonna be able to handle it. So if you, if, if, if you feel that way, then chances are you have the wrong offer, okay? Um, and what happens is that when we have the wrong offer or an offer that that doesn't necessarily maximize our time and um, gives our clients the biggest results that they are looking for, um, what happens is that you don't have the right words. So when you don't have the right words to, to communicate with your ideal clients, you're not gonna close those sales. So you can be bringing in all the leads in the world, but, um, but if you are not, if, if you don't have the right words because everything you do is customized, and you say that sometimes, I remember I used to say that, you know, oh, because everything we do is custom and um, or bespoke, and it sounds really pretty and it sounds really high end, but really it's making you, uh, you're tired. You're probably really, really tired. And um, even if you're, even if you're selling, um, by packages, which is actually is way better than just selling by the hour. So, so if you're scrambling, here's another sign that you don't have the right packages or the right offers created, all right? The next sign is if you are scrambling to figure out what to say in social media. 
You don't know what your post should be like. You don't know if you do a Facebook Live, what is that Facebook Live supposed to be about, okay? That is a clear, clear, clear sign that you don't have the right offer, all right? So let me just say this. The clear sign that you don't have the right offer is you don't have the right words. And if you don't have the right words, you don't know how to show up as, a, you know, in your full magnificent selfish brilliance um, in your sales calls. And you also don't know what to put out as far as content. Okay. Because the problem is like transformational leaders, we have so much going on up here. You have a ton of wisdom. You have a ton of skills. There's a lot that you can be doing. In fact, I'm sure that uh, you often get told, oh, why don't you do that? Like, that? like somebody will come and ask you if you do something. You're like, sure, I can do that. And so then you get sidetracked and you're like, oh, okay, should, should I be doing that or should I be doing that? Because you can do so many things. So the important thing here is to be able to take, um, well, no, this, the first step really is, is you have to know exactly who you're talking about. You know, a lot of coaches talk about niching down, but the truth is niching down is an art. <laughs> it is, it, it's, a, it's a fancy, fancy art. Um, unless you understand who you're fully, fully um, serving, um, it's it's very hard to create the the right offer. So first, you have to start with that. You have to start with absolutely getting a hundred percent clarity on who you're talking to, and 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 making sure that uh, that person a has money to pay for your services, and b has um, has a problem that they really have to solve that they are willing to invest in. And so, where a lot of transformational leaders get caught up is that. What they want to do in the world is so big. You know, it's so abstract. You want to help heal people from emotional uh, turmoil or things like that. But that's still too broad. So um, every single transformational leader, let me repeat this, every single transformational leader has the opportunity to, uh, to tap into a lucrative, lucrative niche but you have to get really creative and brave. I, I, I can't tell you how many, um, I think 98% of all of my clients always give me a little resistance when we start working on their niche because we can. I get really geeky and really, really, really specific about, um, about what you are going to create and for who you're gonna create it with for, okay? So what does the right offer look like? So the right offer absolutely the right first offer if, if, uh, that I believe in is you need to create a high-end offer. You need to create a high-ticket offer. And that means that you're, you can create an offer that, um, that is going to deliver high impact results for your clients. And this is where the where where you have to do some of the research and you have to do the legwork. You know, you have to find a um, a problem that people are willing to invest in and that they and that they find this problem, I need to solve this problem because if I don't, XYZ is gonna happen. Okay. So um, you have to have to have to find that problem. And then you need to make sure that you find, figure out how to uh, curate everything you know, all uh, you know, all the courses and certifications and everything. Curate all of your tools and figure out what is the easiest path to get my client to results. Okay, because your client, the reality is, our clients are not paying for our time. They could care less. They are paying for their their results. They are paying to get things done. Okay, that's why um, you know for people that that love working one on one, they usually do it because they don't know any better. But their clients are not real. They don't they don't care about their time. They care about their results. So creating a package that is high end, that is high impact, is the easiest easiest way to. Um, to get them results and to bring you into a position where you are you're creating profit for your business and creating profit for your business actually helps you be able to help out more people okay so first step get that client right and the second thing is make sure that you that you are aligned that you become aligned with creating a high ticket offer, okay? So so this is a game changer, 100%. I went from, from charging 
36 47 or 47 dollars in a membership organization to charging five figures four figure uh, four figures four figures for working with me you know and uh one-on-one -on -one. and let me tell you when you do that you can um you can create so much so much of a higher impact for your clients and when you do when you take it a step forward and actually um create a process a beautiful body of work that is unique to you then you're all they, then you automatically have an expert status because you literally created a body of work that is you you bringing all of the pieces that you intuitively and expertly believe in and, and, and you package it in a beautiful way that um, that your clients that gives your clients step by step processes and gives them a, a high end customized not customized high end um, experience. Okay, so I am talking about creating a signature a signature system of your very own. Okay, so what that means. So why should you create a signature system of your own? Let me see. Actually, let me pull this up real quick here. So a signature system actually makes you super marketable, okay? And so it, not only are you organizing all of your brilliance into this beautiful body of work that you can then uh, sell in different ways and create different offers from to serve your clients in different ways, but you're organizing your, your brilliance, your knowledge, your wisdom into this beautiful package. And it makes you highly marketable because when you do it the right way, you know what to talk about. One of the things that, that, um, that entrepreneurs, especially uh, especially transformational leaders, get really caught up in is we love talking about our processes, right? We love talking about you know I can I can talk about some metaphysical stuff in the background all day long. I love it, but um, but the truth is it doesn't always connect with the people that I serve in that way because what they're thinking about is they're thinking about their problems. They're thinking about you know, what's what's going on in their life, you know, how can they make more money? All of these different things that are whatever is unique to your ideal clients. Um, that's what they're thinking about. But then, so we're not speaking the same language, okay? So when you organize your wisdom and your skills into a beautiful body of work, then it actually, uh, and you and you learn how to talk about it in a, in a sequence, then it makes you really marketable. You know, I come in, in into these, um, into these calls and I, I'm not scrambling to figure out what I'm going to talk about tomorrow. I know what to talk about because I talk about things that are in my signature programs. So it's already super organized. I know my topics. I know all of that it, it, because it, it's there. So therefore, it I, I can show up as an expert, right? And, and you can do that too. Um, so it also is a, it makes it, it makes it, it's also a very dynamic essential element of building your business because a, an expert that doesn't have a unique way of, uh, of bringing their clients to results, I think they call it commodities. I don't remember what they call it, but it's just exchanging, um, money for time, time for money. Okay, so if you don't have a unique body of work that you can leverage and you can scale with, um, you are basically swimming in a pool of a whole bunch of other people that are doing the exact same thing. Okay, so when you have when you have sales conversations, it makes it hard. It makes it hard because you're you're doing you're just one of thousands and thousands of other uh, professionals in that industry or market that are charging uh, by the hour. And so they have a lot to pick from. But when you create a beautiful body of work that's unique to you, and it's high end, high vibe, then it automatically brings you to another level. So, um, and you know, having a signature system has the potential to radically transform any business. So it's done it, I've done it. And so it doesn't mean that, that having this org beautiful organized uh, system of work it doesn't mean that you'll have to, that you'll never be able to customize anything. That's not it at all. In fact, it's completely the opposite. It just makes it more organized. Um, when somebody comes into, into um, the solidified CEO, they go through a process, but during our one-on-ones, we 
I customize their one-on-one. -on -one. It's like everybody needs, everybody's at different point, but the art in organizing your signature system, a unique, your unique process is that you have, you already know which pieces of your uh, wisdom go where, okay? So if you had to create a product that was delivered to somebody's, um, to somebody's house in a beautiful box, and it was this, this product was just your knowledge in a box, how would that look? So think about that. So know exactly who the right client is. Um, be open to creating a high ticket offer. Um, create a signature system, and um, and then you have to be able to create a uh, the, the right packages with that. Okay, so all of this is meant to to like I said, deliver your wisdom in the best way possible that serves your client and is efficient for your time. Okay, by doing this, you're going to be able to be you're you're going to be way more marketable than you are right now. Um, so the next thing is is really about um, creating the right packages. Okay, so so you can have an awesome system, but then have the have sucky packages, <laughs> and I and I've seen that, and it co it's it's costing you a lot of money. Let me repeat that: if you have the wrong packages, even if you have the right signature system, it's going to cost you a lot of money. This is when it's really important to understand who your client is. This is really important. This is when um, it's really important to take that beautiful body of work that you created and um, and have that be the catalyst to creating offers and uh, packages that you can serve in different way because ways because different audiences consume stuff in different ways. Okay, so so for example, I'll give you a quick example. I, I just launched my, um, and actually I have a call in 30 minutes. Um, I just launched a Selfish Path to Abundance. And the Selfish Path to Abundance, I'm going to be able to do, I'm developing um, the, the online material right now. I've been working one-on-one -on -one with clients on it. And I have the Selfish Retreat. Okay, so that's just an example of how I'm serving it in different ways because people like to consume in different ways. So the trick here is that you first have to narrow down and get focused on one specific thing, which means that you have to develop your main signature system, your main package. After you do that, then you can start uh, serving it in different ways, okay? So that is what I've got for you today. Um, let's see how long I've been talking here. I've been talking for about 17 minutes. I'm getting, I'm getting better, it's getting shorter. So that's what I have for you today. So if you feel like you're customizing everything, you're ready to scale, you, um, you love working one-on-one -on -one with people, but you know there's gotta be a better way to leverage your time and your knowledge, then you need to create high-end packages, high-ticket offers. High-ticket offers are amazing. If you, if you can build your business on this model, um, you can make a lot of money. You can make six figures, multiple six figures. Um, and I know people, my coach, for example, she makes multiple millions of dollars a year. Um, so that, but that's how, how you do it. You don't, it's very rare that you can create something that's so inexpensive and scale it and make and make six figures. It's rare because then you have to have a ton of traffic, a lot of that. And so think of it as watering down your stuff. So if you were to serve your client at the highest level, what does that look like? Create an, ir I, I tell my clients this all the time, you have to create an irresistible offer that people just can't say no to. You know, I had a discovery call the other day and, um, and this girl's like, well, I just can't say no to that. I said, I know, right? <laughs> she can't. She's like, I can't. I've already spoken to to two other people, and they, I just can't say no to your offer. I'm like, exactly. So you need to be able to say you. I want your clients to be able to say that about you. Okay. So with that said, if you would like to get on a discovery or strategy call with me, and you want to learn, and you really want to get clarity on where you're at in your business and what you need to do next, I, uh, I've opened up three spots for next week to have discovery calls. So I am happy to have a discovery call with you and at the very least give you a strategy on what your next step is, okay? So that's all I've got for you today and um, I will see you next time, all right? See you guys.
actually, let me see. There's a lot of you guys on here. Hey, Sarah, Eleanor, Lisa, Nadia, Tracy, Mila. All right, ladies. Well, if you guys have any questions for me here that you can type up, I'd be happy to answer them. If not, I am going to prepare for my Selfish Path to Abundance. All right, so any questions? Going once, going twice. Tracy says, uh, signature system, what would it look like? I love the exercise. I can't wait to get out my notebook and start wrapping the box. Yes, that's exactly what it looks like. So signature system is, um, is what does that look like? It looks different for everyone. It actually depends on what your archetypes are, on what your brand looks like. You know, I'm, I'm a very, so, and, and I'll say this now because Tracy, you and I are working in the Selfish Path to Abundance together. So I've talked to you a little bit about archetypes, but my archetypes are, uh, archetypes are basically patterns of energy in, in the subconscious of the universe, I should say. Um, you know, you have the maverick, you have the queen, you have the explorer, the fool. They're all different patterns of energy that live inside of us, and some of them have more impact on us than others. So I, for me, um, I have a lot of explorer energy, and I have an, a lot of alchemist energy and ruler. But the explorer, when you think of like me creating the selfish path to abundance, it's got the vibe of the explorer. You are and the and the alchemist together. So what it look like looks like is going to be completely different uh, for you than it is for me or for anyone else. And that's where that's where the um, the art comes into you know the, the the artistic aspect of creating this beautiful body of work that leverages your time. So my programs leverage one-on-one, uh, -on -one, they leverage group coaching, they leverage uh, online portals, um, and it's a combination of everything. That's that's how I do it. Um, and then, and, and pretty soon, I'm actually going to be doing a lot of live workshops as well. So um, yeah, I hope that answered your question. Who else? Okay, here's another question. Can you tell me which archetype responds well to an explore artist? So that's a great question. So you already have certain archetypes within you. I have uh, explore, alchemist, and ruler. Um, just because I am explore, alchemist, and ruler doesn't mean that I'm going to attract people of the same of the same archetype. I I tend to attract a lot of alchemists actually, but but it's because you're going to attract the people that are looking for the experience that you can provide them. Okay, so you may you may uh, decide on a niche that um, that is like a, a niche of rulers, but those rulers are looking for a for a uh, explore artist experience in their life. So when they see you, they're going to know that they're looking for that experience. So does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. What else? These are some really good questions. Um, I usually post what the next Wednesday's uh, class is gonna be about. So always be on the lookout for that and add as many friends uh, colleagues of yours as you possibly can can to the group i would really really appreciate that um because i really love to share all of this stuff and that way you can also prepare your questions because after i teach these and you know it's all uh, it's a work in progress to learn how to do this stuff but um after i teach i'm happy to take questions so i'm trying to get my my the teaching part down to 15 minutes and then maybe lower than that eventually <laughs> but see about that i did talk a lot all right, ladies, so um, I don't see any more questions, so I will see you guys uh, soon, and I'll see you next Wednesday, all right? For those of you who are uh, who are taking the Selfish Path to Abundance, I'll see you in half an hour, and um, if you want to get clarity, total business clarity about where you are today, what your packages look like, and what they should look like, I'm happy to get on a discovery call with you. Um, you can go to mariellealvarado.com uh, forward slash discovery call, or you can message me here on Facebook, and um, I'm usually around. So um, I will see you then.
I look forward to it. Peace.